Hello and welcome to day nine of our epic road trip adventure. This was our second day in Lincoln City, Oregon. It was our second night staying at the Pelican Shores. Um, it was a lazy day. We walked along the water, walked on the beach, put our feet out in the Pacific Ocean. The water was a little too chilly to get in and, and, and swim. There was a few people out there, but us being from Florida, we're not used to the weather being 65 when you're in the ocean. It's a little too chilly for us and the water was cold too. It was not like the Atlantic off the coast of Florida. We drove into the town barely. We went to this place that was pretty close to the hotel. We could have walked, but we didn't realize it at first. We went to the Port of Vallarta and we had kind of a late lunch, early dinner meal there. Oh my God, that food was fantastic. If you are in Lincoln City, you have got to go to the Port of Vallarta. The food was amazing. Such good food. And then we just kind of drove up and down 101, the little main strip of Lincoln City, and we stopped at like a little Candyland type store where they sold like retro style candy, stuff like that, picked up, you know, two dollars worth of stuff but it bought you a bunch of stuff because it's the cheap little candies like we used to get when we were well when i say we i mean people my age when we were younger if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe like the video if you like it please leave a comment i will respond to the comments that are down there we want to keep this channel growing um we got to get it up and going and little by little it's starting to grow where we're, our views are growing our subscriber counts growing little by little i know it's a growing process but um, anything that you can do to help the channel out, spread the word. Show this to other family members. Show it to your friends. Post it on your social media. Get other people looking at our videos. It's going to help us out, okay? All right. See you soon. I'm here in Lincoln City, Oregon. Got here late last night, so didn't get to enjoy the sunset from the car we did, but we didn't get to enjoy it uh, down on the beach like we're going to tonight. Um, if you're coming to Lincoln City, Oregon, or anywhere along the Oregon coast where you can get to Lincoln City within a, a day's drive or just a few hours drive, I highly recommend this resort, this hotel. It is beautiful. It's got an awesome view. You got your own staircase up to the beach. The place is very clean. The staff that we've met, very friendly. Stephanie here is very, very nice, very friendly. Um, just a really one of those kind of like mom and pop hotels that makes you feel good about being where you're at when you're traveling you're not just a number in a chain in a hotel chain system you're actually they care about you you can tell and they care about the resort because the place is spotless it's awesome you cannot a single complaint out of staying they got a peaceful night's sleep last night relaxing day so far today it's around lunchtime, so we came out to dip our toes out here into the ocean we're gonna grab something to eat for lunch haven't decided on the lunch spice yet okay we just put our feet in the pacific ocean out here it is freezing cold we get cold water at the beaches in florida Coco, Daytona, there's times where you go in the water there and it feels like a hot tub and there's times you go in the water in Florida and it's a little chilly. It just depends on which way the currents are flowing out of Florida. I can tell you right now this Pacific Ocean is freezing. We all dipped our toes in it feels like we put our feet inside of an ice cold cooler. Oh man, but it's beautiful. But I wouldn't want to be stuck out there in the water, I can tell you that much. You know, a lot of people in life always say they don't like where they live. They complain that it's boring where they live. I live in Central Florida. Where you've got four Disney theme parks, four di two Disney water parks, Bush Gardens, SeaWorld, two Universal parks, a Universal water park. You've got um, tons of stuff. You can do Kennedy Space Center. You've got Gulf beaches on one side of the state. You've got ocean beaches on the other side. And there's still people back home who complain that they're bored. There's nothing to do in Florida. Well, there's something to do everywhere you go. That's one of the things I love about traveling is every state Every single state, all 50 states, even though I've only been to 48 of them, all 50 states, there's plenty to do to keep you busy. You gotta find the things in life that make you happy and go after them. I'm not a huge beach person. Like, I'm not a big, I love swimming all day long, laying on the beach, getting tan. That's not me. But I love sitting by the water. I love listening to the ocean waves. But it's just one of those things where it's like you, people wanna complain all the time about life instead of see, seeking out what actually makes them happy. I love to travel. I'm in the midst of the biggest vacation I've ever taken in my life. And I've been enjoying every minute of it other than being stuck in traffic. But you just have to look at the positives. Like yesterday, there was a few things we missed yesterday. There's a place here called Wakanda Beach. I wanted to stand on Wakanda Beach with my arms folded and yell, Wakanda forever! But guess what? By the time we got there, it was dark, it was late. We just passed, by, bypassed it to get to our hotel, you know? But it's like, I can't dwell on the negative. You gotta dwell on the positive. Hey, we're gonna go have a nice lunch, have some dinner. We're just trying to make the positive out of everything, you know? That's what you have to do in life. 